and SSP stands for slip slip pearl and it creates a single left slanting decrease on the public side so you won't really see it until you turn around. I'm going to do it for throwing and then also for picking. So the first thing I need to do is reverse the stitch mounts of these two stitches by slipping them as if to knit, which means I insert my needle as if to knit and I slip one and I slip two. And then I put them back where they came from because I now have to purl two together through the back loop, which is their leading leg, which means I have to take that needle around to the back and I have to enter the back loop of number, stitch number two and then stitch number one. If you have trouble doing this in one move, just do it one stitch at a time. And then I have to purl them together. And when I turn around, let's take a look. And you can see what that makes is a left slanting decrease on the public side. So when you're looking at it this way, it doesn't look like much. So let's take a look at that again, this time for continental knitting. So I'll just put everything back where it came from. So one more time. I have to begin by reversing the stitch mounts by slipping one as if to knit, slipping two as if to knit, put them back where they came from, and then I have to reach that needle around to the back and in enter stitch number two and then stitch number one and purl them together. And there you have it. The SSP, the single left slanting decrease. It's used on sleeve caps. It's used on raglan shaping, which is how I'm using it here. It's used a lot of times when you have to shape on both the right side and the wrong side.